Alhamdulillah, it gives us a great pleasure that we are going to complete the 31st year academic year of Darul Ulum Pretoria. It is a long journey and indeed to bring up Islamic education up to this level in South Africa, it is not easy. And it was impossible if there was not the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Nazri Karam of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallama and the Nazri Inaya of Sayyidi wa Murshidi, Shaykh al Hadith, Ustazi Peer Sayyid Hasinuddin Shah Sahib, Matta'ana Allah bituli hayatihi. And inshallah, day by day, Darul Ulum Pretoria will produce ulama, huffaz, kurra and aima. Those will serve and are serving throughout the world, inshallah. For that I would like to call upon Muhammad Azhar that please come on to mic and recite few verses of Al-Quran Al-Kareem Furqan Hamid. <laughs> ولم يقل له كفوان أحد صدق الله العظيم. I would like to call upon Maulana Shakir Sapa that please come on mic and recite few verses in the praise of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. أنا في
قبلہ حضرت علامہ حافظ محمد اسماعیل حضاروی ڈیپیٹی پرنسپل افدار العلوم پریٹوریا ویل کم آن دا مائک تو شیئر ویڈ آس دے اچیومنٹ افدار العلوم پریٹوریا این وٹ آور فیوچر پلینز تو پروموٹ این تو ایلیویٹ دا سٹیٹس آف ایڈوکیشن انشاءاللہ تودیز گیدرنگ تودیز فنکشن تو آنر دے گریجویٹس of Darulum Pretoria is essential and is necessary and as you are aware and witness to the fact that it is a very scaled down program but we have to have it it is their day it is their event and to the best of our ability with all strings attached this is what we are giving them over the last number of years, it has taken much to move towards the formalization of this particular sector of education, which was a non-recognized entity. In Islamic world, in Islamic countries, perhaps it gains its recognition in different ways. The institutions are registered. They have their recognition. They are on par with tertiary education on a different level. And however that is achieved, they ensure its achievement simply because it is an Islamic country. In the absence of Islamic law, in the absence of Islamic rule, in the absence of Islamic governance in South Africa, this challenge was indeed a great challenge. Nine years of work behind the scene to ensure some sort of registration. If we go before that, then some 16 years ago, we started a process and tried registration with Umalusi. The process was halted. We knocked the doors of CHE, Council for Higher Education. Once again, the process came to an abrupt end. We made representations with other organizations to DHET, Department of Higher Education and Training. And the challenges were immense. We were not able to succeed. And finally, in the month of August this year, we were fortunate enough to receive a full accreditation. Darulum Pretoria is the first organization in South Africa to have a full accreditation for the Mu'allim and Imamat cause, which gives us NQF levels of four and five. And we have about 50% of the last lap of work which is done and hopefully we will lodge in the coming year and then we will be receiving a further accreditation which will give us NQF level 6, National Qualification Level 6, inshallah. And when that happens, when you have an NQF 5, you can walk broad-chestedly and go and get an admission to tertiary education anywhere, tertiary, tertiary education of your choice, the doors are open for you, whether you want to, any of the sciences, whether it's accounting, whether it's law, whether it's medicine, whatever it is. So a dream of more than three decades is finally fulfilled, alhamdulillah. And may I inform you that it's just not this. The course material provided by Darulum Pretoria, the handbooks for the teachers, the subject matter, 
its content has been solely developed by Darulum Pretoria, which now stands as benchmarking for any other institution through the length and breadth of South Africa that they are going to adopt that. And that is going to be the standard wherever it is going to be taught. This is a great achievement for Darulum Pretoria. And having achieved this, Darulum Pretoria this year has offered secular education side by side with the normal courses of Darulum Pretoria. We've had a grade six. Alhamdulillah, it was successful. We had grade eight, grade nine, 10, and we had a batch of matriculants that have set for the national examination. This is another achievement for Darulum Pretoria. We have a further achievement that has been signed and sealed during the course of this year. That is why I say, albeit the challenges of COVID-19, Darulum Pretoria is now recognized by Tanzimul Madaris Ahle Sunnat Pakistan, and our course structure is registered with them as well. As you all know, that we have expatriate teachers from Al-Azhar al-Sharif, which is rated as amongst one of the oldest universities on the continent of Africa. And they provide us with educators. And this year we have four educators resident at Darulum Pretoria. And they have, like previous years, they have been fulfilling their educational responsibilities. So now we are going to begin with permission from Qibla Mufti Saab, our graduation process. And we have three categories. We have the Hivs category, we have the Imamat category, and we have the Alim category. And all three of them are going to be graduating. We also have, for the first time, the anticipation was more, however, uh, it, for reasons uh, beyond our circumstances, uh, they could not reach that level because of COVID-19, but one person has certainly achieved it. He's not here with us. He will be graduating online. The process is that we have nominated a proxy from that region who deals directly with Darulum Pretoria as an alim of the area and the family together has made this arrangement at a masjid in that area where the graduation is going to be taken all the way from Mauritius, inshallah. So we're going to be having one online graduation taking place for the first time in the history of Darulum Pretoria. Rahman Hassan Mahdi. He is one of those graduates that has dedicated to memory the entire Quran. And now I can call the graduate who's going to be receiving his certificate for having successfully accomplished the Imamat cause, and he is Imam Muhammad Iqbal. Oh, no, no. 
प्रेटोरिया इतना हसीनो दिल रुबादार उदम प्रेटोरिया है मर उदम प्रेटोरिया दार उदम प्रेटोरिया इमाम आरिफ अब्दुल्ला पटेल graduating maulana hasan raji and the graduating student hafiz maulana shakir sapa ye kya tha aur kya ho gaya dar ulum pretoria dar ulum pretoria dar ulum pretoria इतना हसीनो दिल रुबादार उदम प्रेटोरिया है यादार उदम प्रेटोरिया दार उदम प्रेटोरिया दार ग्रेजुएटिंग स्टूडेंट मौलाना हसीब असलम in his graduating year he had to also sit for a metric examination graduating student molana abu bakar manamela Molana Haider Ali The jubba will be placed by Deputy Principal Hafiz Ismail Hazar Isa Nazar le kar diya sab se digar ye kya tha aur kya ho gaya dar ulum pretoria dar ulum pretoria dar ulum pretoria itna hasino dil rubadar ulum pretoria hai The graduating student Maulana Sayyid Hussain So we are now going to cross over to Mauritius and the graduate in Mauritius is Maulana Mazhar Charaq Ali. Maulana Mazhar Charaq Ali who has very dedicatedly during the lockdown pursued and continued with his studies and alhamdulillah uh, we can see the accomplishment today and he is now on screen 
अकबर की काविश और नजर ने कर दिया सबसे दिगर ये क्या था और क्या हो Unfortunately, uh, COVID hitches and glitches are all over. The Mauritian students that they've been coming to to Darul Ulum, Alhamdulillah. The academic studies of Darul Ulum Pretoria does not cease at uh, level six. But they, there's a postgraduate studies that goes on at Darul Ulum Pretoria, and inshallah, in the near future, we will also endeavour to get that recognised by QCTO, and we've been told that we would be able to get at the minimum a, uh, NQF level of seven, inshallah, and that is for the Tahassus course. Uh, which is basically moving towards the obtaining or the title of mufti to be conferred upon them. And uh, from the beginning of the program, we've been speaking of COVID and all its hitches and glitches. Uh, there would have been a graduation that would take place this year. However, the Tahassus cause requires that there be sufficient uh, physical and preparatory work in terms of supervision of fatawa writing. And that has to be done under the supervision of senior muftis. And uh, there are, I think there's a module which is outstanding, also due to the COVID situation. And the intensity of the work at that level is definitely something different. You had your turn. Please give respect to the others that are coming to the graduating, uh, uh, at least to the stage. Uh, so, the, inshallah, by the coming year, they would be able to accomplish that. There's a lot of uh, uh, supervision work that is outstanding. Due to circumstances, uh, 2020, as we know, remains an incomplete year. And uh, 2020 certainly was the, 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 the highest as far as normal processes and normal procedures are concerned. And unfortunately, due to that, somewhere along the line, there is a glitch. And one of them is that they would ordinarily uh, be uh, graduating here. But inshallah, soon, uh, once they accomplish the last level of that, and when they go through the physical training, supervision, and fatawa writing skills, and usul of fatawa writing, once they, uh, once they accomplish that, then they will be conferred, uh, the title would be conferred upon them. Pailo, Aliasa, Saddaus, Hashim, Sheikh Ali Hashim. And uh, he's going to come and receive his mark sheets from Qibla Mufti Sahib. Molana Hafiz Jamil Ahmad Al Azhari. Ghazia Millet Award, which is uh, given for oratory and uh, the processes of competitions, etc., that we have, and the, the overall winner that has bagged this for himself, this particular award for himself, is this time round. From our graduating students, Maulana Hafiz Shakir Mushtaq Ahmed Sapa. Even after his name was announced, he didn't realize that that award he's uh, he's the recipient of that award, and uh, double congratulations for him because he is Alhamdulillah the murid of Huzur Sheikh Al Islam Madanimia. The Academic Excellence Award is named the Abul Khair Award, which is named after the founder of Darulum Pretoria, His Eminence, Pire Tariqat, Hazrat Allama, Sayyid Hasinuddin Shah Sahib, Matta'an Allahu Bituli Hayati, who actually laid the seed of Darulum Pretoria, the 
the founder, the father of Darulum Pretoria, the spiritual guide of Darulum Pretoria, the Ustad of Qibla Mufti Sahib, and the spiritual Sheikh and murshid -e kamil for many people that are seated in this very hall as well. And that is the Abul Khair Award. For the third year in succession, Muhammad Hassan Mubarak Ali Isa Raji. We are going to take the liberty of listening to a special message that has been there for and on behalf of His Eminence, inshallah. Uh, one of the Sabzad Gan, I think it is Maulana Sayyid Habibullah Shah Sahib. I have said to you all, who are here, one day I will be able to give you a good time that you have not done your work of the religion. The Prophet, the Prophet, استاذ العلماء مفتی محمد اکبر ہزاروی صاحب اور حضرت علامہ مولانا حافظ محمد اسماعیل ہزاروی صاحب اور تمام جو یہاں پر اساتذہ کی ٹیم ہے یہ سب مبارک بات کے مستحق ہیں میں اپنی طرف سے جامعہ رضی ازیاء اللوم اور استاذ العلماء والد گرامی حضرت قبلہ پیر سید حسین الدین شاہ صاحب کی طرف سے آپ سب کو مبارک بات پیش کرتا ہوں اور خاص طور پر یہ علماء حفاظ قرار جو آج یہاں سے گریجویٹ ہو رہے ہیں اللہ رب العزت ان سب کو اپنے دین کی صحیح معنوں میں خدمت کرنے کی توفیق عطا فرمائے Our principal, the principal of Darulum Pretoria His Eminence, محترم المقام فضیلت الشیخ پیر طریقت حضرت اللہمہ قبلہ مفتی محمد اکبر حضاروی صاحب to close with his final words and the vote of thanks, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, now we have students from different countries, more than 20 countries. And more than 600 ulama, hofaz, aima, serving throughout the world according to their ability, deen of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. جیسے کہ آپ نے سن لیا کہ سکول بھی ہے from grade 6 till grade 12 اور حافظ عالم امام یہ کورسز بھی ہیں اور لوکل جو سکول پڑھنے والے بچے ہیں ان کے لیے پارٹ ٹائم مدرسہ بھی ہے یعنی گزشتہ سے پیوستہ کل بہت اچھا پروگرام ہوا آپ یہ پیغام اپنے عزیزوں اور رشتہ داروں تک you have to convey this message you are relatives, family members and other people they also can send their children small children after noon madrasa they can join us as well and also there is a great opportunity because people are listening throughout the world and watching it and for you also good news that we have many students those who accepted Islam became Muslims. As you know, one of them graduated. 2012, now he is a great alim and he, when he speaks Arabic, it looks like he's not from here. So, this time, the fact is that the children are Muslim, بہت سرے پیرنٹس ان سے نالا ہوتے ہیں ناراض ہو جاتے ہیں دوز وہ ایکسیپٹڈ اسلام دے پیرنٹس دے چیز دیم آؤٹ فرم دے ہم بیکوز آف اونلی اسلام تو اف وی آر نٹ گوئنگ ٹو لک آفٹر دیم اس فیر دے ویل گو بیک اینڈ دین وی ویل بی آنسریبل ان دی کوٹ آف اللہ سبحان و تعالی آن دا ڈے آف ججمنٹ اللہ گرانٹڈ اس دس ایبیلیٹی this opportunity and sources Allah provided us to agar aap ek ladke ki zimadari nahi le sakte yateem aur gharib nadar ka ki to kam as kam family members agar 50 rand 100 rand ab sadka nikale family member agar 8 ya 10 hai to ek ladke ki zirurat puri ho jayegi and one child 
student become half his when he reciting and memorizing one time two time three time by reciting that that verse he won't be able to memorize he need it repeat it again repetition maybe 20 time 30 time 50 time then he will be able to memorize that verse and one verse there are how many letters and nabi kareem said uh, alif lam mim this is not one letter these are the three letters on every letter 10 rewards the one who recite alif lam mim he will get 30 rewards bismillahir rahmanir rahim kitne letters hain to how much reward to person memorizing the quran how much reward reward he will go and after the completion he will continue chain will continue and we won't be in this world we will be in the grave but sadka jariya will be for us so after listening i think there is no chance for you to deprive yourself from this <laughs> اللهم انزل الرحمة الطمانية والبركة والشرافة على صاحب الدار العلوم مفتي مفتي أكبر هزار بيسا مولانا إسماعيل هزار بيسا وجميع الأساتذة الكرام والطلبة الكرام يا الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم وفقهم وأهدهم على خدمة الدين الإسلام ولأعلى كلمة الحق لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ما سمينا وطعنا غفرانك ربنا وليك المسير صلى الله تعالى على خير حلقي محمد وآله وصحبه أجمعين برحمتك